Welcome! In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a felt textured clip art in Adobe Photoshop that you can use for your poster, brochure, flyer, or even website. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transform two regular clip arts, teapot and second, the bowl plate, into felt textured clip arts. This technique that you're going to learn will be useful because sometimes your clip arts are too colorful and don't go really well with the pattern background. So, with this technique, you can change your objects into a silhouette kind of object, but with textures. You can definitely apply this technique into any kind of texture like fabric, wool, or anything. Before we proceed, I'm going to show you the end result of my work, which is this picnic menu where I placed my two felt textured objects. I used the felt textured objects not merely for embellishments, but as backgrounds that support the text on my menu. Okay, so now let's start. To save time, I have this pattern background ready. I'm not going to go through the steps of how I lay out this background. Now, we're going to work with the original clip art. First, let's work with a teapot. I'm going to pull up the teapot file as well as the file. Here, I'm already in Adobe Photoshop. Because this teapot is a cropped clip art, I had to make sure that the background is cleaned. If you're working with an object that still has a white or any kind of background, you need to first get rid of the background. So what I'm going to do is to select the background with magic wand tool on the left panel. You'll know that the background is selected when you see this flickering dotted lines. Okay, after that, select the background eraser tool also on the left panel. I'm going to erase the background really quick since I did this tab before. Alright, once you're done, deselect by clicking select from the menu or simply hit Command D or Control D for Windows. Now, we need to move this teapot to the felt layer. To do that, select the Move tool and drag this to the Felt layer. There you go. Now you have the teapot object on top of the Felt layer. What you want to do is select the background of the teapot and get rid of the rest of that. It is similar with tracing something on top of a paper to get the outline and then to cut the outline and get rid of the leftover. The steps to erase the background of the object are the same like what we did before. But before erasing the background, you want to make sure that you are on the right layer. This is the tricky part in Adobe Photoshop. You always have to make sure you're on the right layer. To select the background, you have to be on the teapot layer. You'll know that you're on the right layer by seeing the layer panel on the right hand side. The selected layer will be highlighted with blue. Since I'm already on the right layer, I'm going to select the background using the magic wand tool. Okay, now I'm ready to erase the background. But before that, I have to switch layer. I have to be on the background layer. So I'm going back to the layer panel again and click the background layer, which is this felt texture layer. Then I'm going to erase it using the background eraser tool. Make sure that you select erase your uh, object instead of the background. Well, another way to delete your background, I'm going to demonstrate that 
and erasing this small area inside the teapot handle. You see it's not selected because it's inside the object. So now I'm going to select that area with my magic wand tool, but it didn't work. It won't select this small area. So I'm going to use another way to select an area, that is using the magnetic lasso tool. It's right beside the magic wand tool. This tool is great when you have a contrast background. First, I have to deselect this teapot first. I'm going to hit Command D. And then I'm going to zoom this object a little bit. Okay, now I'm tracing this small area with that lasso tool. Once the area is selected, just hit delete on your keyboard. See? It's gone in, in a split second. There you go. Now that you have deleted the area outside your object, let's see if we have shaped that yellow square felt into a teapot shape felt. To see that, we have to hide this teapot image. Let's go to the layer panel and hide by clicking the eye that indicates the layer visibility. Layer 1 is the original teapot image. Layer 0 is the felt one. Layer 1. There you go. Now, since I want to use this for my picnic menu, I have to drag this back to my picnic menu window. To do that, let's select this felt textured teapot. I'm going to use the magic wand tool again. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. Okay, and now I want to drag this back to the picnic menu window. So I have to click the move tool and drag this. Okay, now I want to adjust the size. Now I'm going to repeat the same steps for the next clip art, which is the bowl plate, but I'm going to do it quickly. First select the background, then switch to background eraser tool. And diesel and um, move tool moving to the felt now I'm selecting the background deselect this and drag this back to the picnic menu. That's it. And of course, you can add tags uh, or other embellishments. By the way, the original clip arts that I use for this tutorial were taken from this wonderful website. It's called Pugly Pixel, a design blog by Katrina Tan. She has a lot of freebies as well as extras if you're a premium member. I hope this tutorial helps and have fun with your own projects. Thank you.